hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to create our custom vpc and along with that custom vpc we are going to create an internet gateway and we are going to associate that internet gateway with our custom vpc along with that we are going to enable the dns host name for our custom vpc that we are going to create so let's see agenda for uh, today's session we are going to create a custom vpc with this cidr block we are going to enable the dns hostname for our vpc we are going to create internet gateway we are going to associate the internet gateway to our custom vpc and we are going to add internet gateway entry to our main route table this main route table gets automatically created whenever we create our new custom vpc so let's go ahead with the hands on so I have logged into my AWS management console over here. I will search for VPC. So currently you can see there is only one VPC available, which is my default VPC, which comes along with the account whenever you create it in every region. So we are going to create our new custom vpc for that we will click on vpcs create vpc over here i will mention our vpc name custom hyphen vpc our cidr so in this we are not going to enable the ipv6 we are okay and uh, let's click on create vpc so over here you can see our vpc is created let's go back to vpc console so we have our custom vpc created let's click on this actions added dns host names enable save changes so now DNS hostname is enabled for our VPC. Now let's go to the left hand side and scroll to the Internet Gateway option. This is the Internet Gateway. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to create an Internet Gateway. Custom IGW create. So our custom internet gateway is created. So let's click on this and attach this custom internet gateway to our VPC that we have created. This is our custom VPC, attach internet gateway. So now it's attached. Thank you guys. Uh, in the next lecture we are going uh, to allocate subnets into our custom vpcs that we have created but uh, before doing that let's go to the route tables over here you would see a new route table which might have got created if i expand this for you it will show this is the main route table which gets created with our custom vpc so if i click on this Let me go to route, edit routes, add route. Over here, we are going to add the route of our internet gateway. You can see our custom, custom internet gateway, save routes. The route is done. So going back to the architectural diagram, over here, we saw we have created a VPC, we have created an internet gateway, we have associated this internet gateway with our VPC and we have created an route in our main route table which comes as a part of VPC. Thank you guys, see you in the next session.